everybody, it's Teresa here of Larkin Design. I'm here to share a project I created for the Citrus Twist design team using the Life Crafted album and I'm using the Life Crafted kit for April called Make It a Venti. And so this, as you can imagine, is a very coffee themed layout. And if you are like me and not so much a coffee drinker, then come on in and we're gonna make a layout. We're gonna document my personal love of mug cakes today. So I am gluten-free. I uh, have a severe gluten sensitivity. It's not um, deathly, but I find myself quite sick if I eat anything with gluten in it. So, but I found gluten-free uh, mug cakes and the kids here eat regular mug cakes pretty often and it's turned into quite an obsession <laughs> in our house. So I encourage you, again, if you're not a coffee drinker, getting the Make It A Venti kits this month. Don't despair. Think about other things that come in a mug. Uh, such as mug cakes or if you've ever gotten a mug of chocolates or um, flowers in a mug uh, that could be an idea to document uh, using this kit. I'm also using a couple of stamp sets. The stamp set that came with the kit itself is of course called Make It A Venti. There's also a smaller stamp set and it is called the Traveler's Notebook stamp set and then also a 4x6 stamp set called Daily Grind. I'll have all of this linked below so you can find out where you can purchase it at Citrus Twist. And so I am starting my layout with just planning the background papers here. I wanted to use the mints, the mint colors in this kit and a little bit of pink. So I've cut the pink diagonal strips for the top right and the lower bottom of the layout. And then for the left hand side, I just used plain white cardstock and I'm stamping the circle element on my background paper. Notice I am using my photo to help me figure out where I wanted to stamp that because I wanted the circle to serve as a home base for stamp sentiments, for embellishments, just whatever I'm going to put on the page. So I have one circle element above the photo and one below. I have one circle element going off the top of the page and then another full circle element that's showing in the center of the layout and then one circle element that is sort of going off the page and um, so all of these are now home bases for stamped sentiments. I pulled the stamped words from the Traveler's Notebook stamp set and um, notice how for the Make It Impossible, All Things Are Possible stamp, I masked that so that it would fit where I wanted it to fit onto the circle element. Um, so this is just how I approach uh, stamping and creating uh, effective clusters here. Notice that I have somewhat of a visual triangle going with those circles now. Um, it leads you down the page. And um, I also added a tab at the top of the photo and a puffy sticker at the bottom of the page as well. Uh, I distressed the pink strip just a little bit there and added that puffy sticker on top. And then I'm gonna repeat that here on the right hand side of the layout. And I'll add that other puffy sticker in just a little while. So working on the right hand side here, I really wanted to use this love word art. I really like that in the kit, there's the word love and there's the word this. And uh, you can use them separately or you could use them together. 
I decided just to use the word love today and I stamped something in the center, of course. And then I'm trying to figure out now how I want to incorporate my journaling. So I am obsessed with lines, any sort of line stamps, line washi tapes. And there was kind of a sunrise element in the Daily Grind stamp set. But I just wanted to use the lines from that stamp set as journaling lines. So I used a pretty dark black ink. Uh, in hindsight, I might have used gray instead, but it ends up working out. And I added my, my journaling here, and I really liked how that looked. Um, you could also add a little white or, or stamp those lines onto white cardstock and cut that out and do your journaling that way if you wanted to. Um, so for now, I'm gonna go back to the other side again and add my title. I'm using the alphabet stickers that are included in the kit and I there wasn't enough mint colored Ks. So I just added a little pop of yellow there and then you'll see right here, I'm gonna add a little pop of navy as well. Um, they're unexpected colors, but I figure it works and it looks really cute together. Um, sometimes it's okay to add a little unexpected thing. So I know that I wanna add just one more little thing here on the right-hand side of the layout. I, I can't say why, I'm just strictly going off of how I feel about the layout at this point. And I feel like it needs a little something above the journaling. So I'm just sort of playing around with a couple of things, the heart, a label. Um, and then I just decide that the branch and this little heart strip will do nicely there. I'm also going to attach the tab at the top of the photo and then uh, stamp my date here. I'm using the Heidi Swap Roller Stamp and then the layout is done. Thank you so much for watching. Um, be sure to check out the links below and subscribe to my channel and hit like and comment. I'll see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.